What's up, Cowboy fans? Welcome back to another video. This is your pregame prediction for week two between the Dallas Cowboys and the Cincinnati Bengals. Down the field, Lamb, 10, 5, victory! Touchdown, Ezekiel Elliott. How about the rookie, Micah Parsons? What a play! Defense wins championships, but the Super Bowl is won by the quarterback. Well, guys, we got a huge matchup coming up here and um, more intense than, I guess, uh, what it usually would be, obviously, because we're out without Dak Prescott. And uh, that situation is a little bit interesting. If you've been following me on TikTok or Instagram or anything like that, you know that uh, the developments of that is just super strange because when we heard about the surgery in the first place, we heard about six to eight weeks. And now we're here in this four week window because um, they decided not to put him on the IR. So there's an expectation that he may be back by week six. So that, that's kind of up in the air. But regardless, uh, we're pretty sure with the roster that we're going to be getting here in week two. And so we can kind of start there and kind of get our, our idea going here. Um, I'm not going to try to sugarcoat this. Again, you come here because I'm an unbiased, realistic Cowboys fan. So I'm not going to save my prediction towards the end. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to walk you through it because um, sometimes maybe that's just what we need. But uh, I, I think the Cowboys are going to lose this game. Uh, there's just no ifs or ands or you know ands about about it honestly because um, and if they do win well oh my gosh you know Mike McCarthy should be nominated for coach of the year already because that would be a dramatic shift in the locker room if we were you know gave one of the most abysmal franchise offensive performances in week one only scoring three points and then we flipped that over and then we beat the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals that that's a dramatic change if somehow we managed to win this game but i think this game is pretty straightforward guys and i, I want to give you a little bit of optimism today because even when i so back in may when i made my season prediction video that's back in may when we for a, a good part know who's going to be on the roster no you know um and, and so and when I make those, I take into account that obviously there's going to be some injuries, but I'm kind of just looking up and, 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 and anticipating that there's not going to be a lot of injuries that um, affect the team <laughs> as much as say like a week one injury to Dak Prescott in his thumb. But uh, even then, uh, with that expectation, when I made that prediction video, when I thought we were going to have Tyron Smith, uh, Dak Prescott, um, those sort of key players to our team, I still had us going 0-2. I just really felt that the roster wasn't as good as it was last year. Now, that's not me saying that we're going to lose the entire season. In fact, I had us winning the NFC East in my season prediction video. I had us going 10 and 7, and that was two games lower than what we won last year uh, at the um, at a different record when we won the NFC East, where we had 12 wins. And so... With that being said, um, like I said, this game is pretty straightforward. I think our defense uh, is really going to give us some opportunities early on in the game. Um, I think Michael Parsons, and let's get you know, let's get right to it. My prediction is I, I think Michael Parsons is going to get one sack. I don't think he's going to get the double feature like we did last week, but I think he's going to get one sack. Um, I think we're probably going to get a forced fumble in there. I can really feel it in the air that we're probably going to get a forced fumble. There. I'm not going to say that Joe Burrow is going to throw any interceptions. Weirdly enough, I know he threw four last week, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. He, I don't know if he's going to throw an interception this coming week. But I think the defense is going to hang in there as much as they can, and I kind of feel like. This game may just be over at halftime. I'm not saying that the score is going to be like 35 to 0 at halftime, but there's just going to be this general feeling um, that we normally get when we have a backup quarterback and our starting quarterback is injured for the Dallas Cowboys, where it's just like, yeah, I kind of know where this game is going. But the good thing about this is it's not a division opponent. Uh, it's a fun matchup. That would have been Dak Prescott versus Joe Burrow. It would have, it would have been a fun matchup to maybe play in your head, like, oh man, what if, you know, the Cowboys went to the Super Bowl last year? This is the team that we would have played. Um, you know, it it definitely doesn't hurt us in a way that you know the loss last week did against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because at least that loss deals with some potential playoff seeding towards the end of the season, kind of like how what we dealt with last season. Um, but let's talk about this offense. I mean, it, it all depends on the personnel change. My thinking is this. Uh, you really have to go out there um, here in week two and, and try a different personnel look or get a different set of wide receivers um, or get a different look at your offensive line. Because there's just no way. And it, it just really doesn't make any sense how you could uh, – have a performance like that in week one where you only score three points and you had a difficult time moving the ball the entire game 
Um, and then now just expect that to be completely different with the with the with a different set of guys uh, on another Sunday. That just that kind of logic does not make sense to me. There should be some form of change going into week two to at least try something different. And right now, I can't tell you what that is because the Cowboys really haven't announced anything. My expectation before I made this prediction video is that I was hoping maybe Michael Gallup might be in, be in that, you know, might be involved in that because they were teasing us in week one saying, hey, um, he's working out. He's looking good. I think we may. And, you know, Jerry comes out and says, hey, if the Super Bowl was week one, Michael Gallup would play. So. Week two, as far as I heard today, he was limited in practice. He was working on seven-on-seven -seven drills. Is there a possibility where he doesn't start, but he plays a little bit, you know, trying to get back up to game speed? Possibly. And I think that just may be enough to see something different. I would love to see Jalen Tolbert as well um, instead of uh, Houston, number 17. Um, you know, just... I, I was at the game. I was so surprised to see Houston on the field catching passes with our starting offense. That that was just a huge surprise to me. I didn't I didn't expect that. But again, you know, um, Jalen has been dealing with an injury, so that might affect that. Um, again, I was kind of expecting Jason Peters, the person that we signed as left tackle from uh, you know the former Philadelphia Eagle nine time Pro Bowler. I was maybe expecting him to you know be rushed back here in week two. But I don't know. I don't really think there's a sense of panic at the moment just yet. I really think that the Cowboys, and this is this is really uh, unconventional to say. I'll, I'll definitely admit that. But I think the Cowboys are really going to treat this game like a like a place to really test a lot of what they're going to be doing here in the next couple of weeks. So take what you see as a grain of salt because the next two games after this are very important because those are division games and those are definitely must wins if we are expecting Dak Prescott to be back and have a serious run at the division title here. But um, I will say that and, and, and I know people are going to say maybe we should you know get back to that running game. Well, here's the thing too with the running game. Um, a lot of people want us to run it 20 times, and you know they saw a lot of success with Zeke last week. And I agree, Zeke looked really great last week, uh, more than I expected, to be honest. You can go back to my pregame prediction video. I think I was more on the wrong side of with Ezekiel Elliott. I thought he had a fantastic game. I thought he had a great game, and they kind of got away with that when they probably should have kept going with that. Um, but here's the thing. Uh, this is why you need a personnel change. Because the Bengals know that you're going to try to rely on Ezekiel Elliott right now. Everyone in that stadium knows you're going to run it, so they're going to stack the box. This is where Kellen Moore comes in, and this is where you really test his play call abilities. And you still have weapons there. I mean, it's not bare minimum. You can use Tony Pollard. You can use Turpin. You can use C.D. Lamb still. You can still use Dalton Schultz. So there's still a lot of players that you can use there. There just requires a little bit more creativity. I'm not talking about the double sweeps and the laterals that Kellen Moore was doing on third and two. You know, that, that's got to go. But play actions, a little bit of some misdirection, uh, some um, um, some uh, some motions before plays, just those kind of things, misdirections um, that really can get an offense going offensively and not just you know running Zeke down the middle. Again, you know, I said this in week one, we're just not that type of uh, offensive line anymore where we can establish our issue and say, hey, we're going to run it all day on you and it's up to you to stop us. So um, that's kind of my take on the offense. That's sort of my expectation. I think we're definitely going to score a touchdown. It's kind of sad at this moment where it's like, that's going to be a prediction is that we're going to score a touchdown today. We're going to score a touchdown Sunday. Um, but I think, you know, the, the more of the prediction is on the opponent here where I think the Bengals had a tough game last week. Um, obviously, they had a chance at the end of the game. But I think Joe Burrow is just the type of player. It's a quarterback that um, you definitely want to build a team around where he's just not going to come back and throw four interceptions again. He's going to come back with a tremendous performance, um, a solid performance. And I think that matchup between Jamar Chase and Trayvon Diggs is really going to be something to look at. Um, it's going to be really something to be um, – just see the competitive nature between those two, two guys. is going to be very interesting to see. Uh, but – like I said, uh, the defense is probably going to give us a few opportunities here. But I think this game is, like I said, I think it's going to be over. We're going to get the sense of it being over at halftime. My final prediction score for this week two here is going to be the Bengals are probably going to win 28 to 14. Cowboys are going to score more than three points this time. So uh, 
if we don't, that's just another headline there. But other than that, go ahead and drop down your prediction uh, down below for the score. Like I said, they're going to try to figure out a lot of things here. And in my unconventional way of thinking, obviously I'm not a head coach in any stand, but you really got to focus on 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 the um on the division games and we have some very important division games coming up here in the next two weeks against the giants and the commanders also i'll say this i'm fairly confident in mike mccarthy i know last week in my reaction video i said that maybe he should be put on the hot seat but i'm talking you know that's in reference to the penalties um and not playing the starters during the preseason because they it was you know they did come out looking really cold but i really like what mike mccarthy did in his first year when Dak prescott went down with the injury um we lost uh, we won the game against new york and then we went on to lose four straight games but after that bye week back in the 2020 season we saw a different team we finished the year and i'm looking here at the stats right here we finished uh, winning four games out of the last seven. So we went four and three. And it was really a valiant effort with a, what I consider to be a worse team that we had back then. And so there's a little bit of confidence in me that is looking at this run here where it's a little bit shorter, where we can we know we're going to see Dak back um, towards the end of the season. There's a little bit more confidence that I think Mike McCarthy can get the job done. And I think obviously Cowboys Nation has been a little unfair to him. That's just my opinion. You can go ahead and comment down below about that, what you think about that. But I think Mike's going to put this team together, maybe bring out the watermelons again uh, for a game like this today or for a game like this on Sunday. But I think it's going to be interesting to see. And he's definitely going to be coaching his tail off because he has to. This is, you know, we all hear about the Sean Payton news. But other than that, that's it. That's it. I just wanted to add that little piece about Mike McCarthy. Um, but go ahead and comment down below what you think about that as well. And I will see you guys Sunday. That post-game reaction video will be a up a little bit sooner than I was on uh, on, on week one just because I'm not at the game this time. I'll be here. So uh, you'll see that post-game reaction video. And like I said, follow me on Twitter. I always tweet in the middle of the games. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Always post in there. And be sure to like this video, subscribe, and most importantly, put down your prediction score for week too. I want to hear what you guys are thinking and what are your pros and cons going into the game. But other than that, I will see you guys later. Go Cowboys. Looking down the field, Lamb, 10, 5, victory! Touchdown, Ezekiel Elliott. How about the rookie, Micah Parsons? What a play! The defense wins championships, but the Super Bowl is won by the quarterback.